Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another Topic Tuesday here. Just so you know, Topic Tuesday is an Instagram that I will link down below in the description box as well as my own Instagram. And what they do is they post different topics each week of the month for everybody to answer either here on YouTube or on Instagram or whatever platform you like to use. And it's just like a fun kind of joint community thing that everybody can do together. Now, of course, I do mine out of order and I pick and choose um, just because not everything I can really answer in long form, like 10 minutes or so on YouTube. So I just kind of pick what I want to do. And so the topic that I picked for this week is if you were creating your own nail polish collection, what would it be? Now, at first, I was a little bit hesitant to answer this question because I thought, well, how can I you know, explain what I'm imagining in my head. It's not going to be very visual. It's going to be really boring and nobody's going to sit through that. But then I remembered, um, if you are familiar with Hannah Louise Poston here on YouTube, she does like makeup content. She did something similar to this where she cr like created her own little like makeup launch but she used her own makeup that she already had to kind of like discuss like this is how you know the shade would look and this is how I would package it and she like mixed things together and kind of like made her own like personalized makeup line out of things that she already had and liked to use and stuff like that that's kind of her whole gig and I thought that was a really fun video to watch it was really interesting and I thought well I can do something similar with this question so that's what I'm going to do I have a few nail polishes over here for my own collection that I'm going to use to help kind of talk me through like the colors that I would want in my collection if I was to make a nail polish collection. So I think I've talked about this before where personally I really like when a collection is based on an IP or you know like just you know like a book or a movie, TV show, video game, whatever because I feel like especially indie brands do this right where they really get good inspiration and they really run with it fun finishes fun colors really fun names like really good references and I thought that would be fun but then I thought like well the types of like finishes and stuff I would do for something like that I don't really have in my collection in like those types of colors and things like that like I would probably to be quite honest do like an x-files collection or something like that I think that's one that I would really have to sit down and like think out for quite a while and then come back to you guys. So, you know, maybe in the future I'll talk about that, but I decided to take just a really kind of basic theme and run with it. And I, I like these kinds of collections too, like Karaya Polish had a coffee themed, I don't know if it was like specifically coffee or like cafe, but a coffee themed um, collection where everything was kind of like different tones of like browns and and like those types and they were like named after different like coffee drinks and stuff like that that was a really cool concept there's a brand that i saw over on instagram um i can't remember their name it was color graded and i'll pop up a picture here but they i'm looking at them right now they had a, a collection that launched recently called like the cafe collection and it's like lavender latte strawberry milk cafe the one that really got me by the name was oat milk because I love oat milk. Um, I'm an avid oat milk buyer. And so even though I, I don't like the color at all, <laughs> I want it just because of the name, which I'm not going to buy it. Don't get me wrong, but like it, it's a cute like concept. And so that was kind of the thing that I wanted to do. And for me, the theme that I chose was like plants. I don't know if you guys can tell back behind me. I have a ever-growing collection of plants. They're just uh, cactuses and succulents because I'm pretty new <laughs> to plants and so if I forget to water them for a few extra days they're not gonna suffer as much as maybe a flower would but also they're cute and chubby and I like them so I chose plants. So I've got a little swatch wheel here I have eight different color slash concepts to show you and let's just hop right into it. So the first color I thought of instantly was the terracotta pot color because I've been running back and forth to Home Depot buying terracotta pots nonstop. So uh, the first color that I chose, this is Maniology's Saddle Up. This came in their most recent 
uh, is it the Manny by Me box? I got my first one and this was the color that was in it. And I was like, wow, that's perfect. So I think that like these pots that are like, they're brown, but they're orange. You get what I'm saying? Like in my head, I look at them, I'm like, that's orange, but it's also brown. And I feel like this is a really good orangey brown. It's got like red tones in it. And that's how I feel about those like clay pots. I guess it's clay, right? Yeah, that's clay. And um, I decided to throw a matte top coat over this one to make it a matte polish because I feel like, you know, that's kind of the texture of the pot. That's how they look from, you know, any distance. And so I think that a matte, warm, orangey brown would be the first color in my personal collection. The next color I went with is another brown, and this is Amber by Picture Polish. Now, I would tweak this one just a little bit, but the reason that I chose this is because it's like a dirt brown, right? Which is what we want because I want it to represent the soil that goes into the pot. But it also has these really beautiful like silvery white flecks running through it and you know you can see it on the nail as well and I feel like with those soil mixes you have a lot of like mixed in uh like the the soil mix that I have it has a, these little like white I think they're like rocks or something like that I obviously don't know a lot about plants um and it's supposed to help with like drainage of water or whatever but it's you know flecked with white and um here let me see if I can show you like these white kind of like rock things. That's kind of what I'm thinking about. And yes, I know it does need to be watered. But yeah, so I I picked that because I thought that those like white flecks running through it reminded me of the white rocks running through the soil. I know that's kind of a basic, like really on the face, on the nose concept. That's just kind of how I thought about this one. But the one change that I would make about this is it's more of a jellyish uh, finish. And I think I would make it more of a cream if something is possible, just because I don't think that a jelly would suit this collection. I think that with jellies, you either have to have an all jelly collection or no jellies in your collection. I don't think jellies like sit well with most collections, in my opinion. They have to kind of be all or nothing. But yeah, so I would make this one a little bit more opaque. But other than that, I would not change the color. I would not change the finish. I think it's really a nice fit. Up next, I'm going to show you two polishes, but the concept is, you know, one. So this one is Tree Hugger by China Glaze, and it, this one has a shimmer running through it. I would make it a cream, but I like this color. And then Grass Stain by Enchanted. Now, the thought is a UV transitional color from light to dark, and it just kind of makes me think of, like, as your plant or succulent or whatever is growing and maturing, it gets a little bit deeper and darker in tone. Uh, from its original bud and it just kind of shows it like like growth or, or the spirit of growth so and I thought it would be cool since they're plants to make it a UV color change polish I didn't even know those existed until fairly recently I've seen a couple and then I got like a targeted ad um, or email or something probably because I'm on their mailing list for Siate London and they've got a few on their website so I bought them but yeah so I don't know how well they work. They haven't come in yet, but we'll see. And that's kind of like the thing that sparked the idea for the transitional color. And I think I should go light to dark if that's possible. I don't know if there's really any constraints of going lighter or darker or whatever, but yeah, that's what I would do for my green polish. Cause you gotta have green in the plant collection. Okay, so now let's get into some of like the more fun, bright colors. And this is more where I took inspiration from like the flowers themselves, save for one of them. And the first one I chose was another picture polish, and this is Pooh. And it's a really nice, like, sunflowery yellow. And for me, when I think of flowers, you know, sunflowers are kind of the first one that pops into my head. I just feel like they're just such a bright, happy, fun flower. And in my college town where I used to live, I just remember every summer this guy had like, it was this total like crazy like hoarder college house where they just had lawnmowers in, in the yard and just like very, like, I think there was like a kitchen sink. It was just filled with junk. And in their front ditch every year, 
there were sunflowers growing. <laughs> and I just remember like driving past them and I'm like, I like those guys. So yeah, I, I picked this yellow because, and it's the same finish as uh, amber. And I think that these go really well together because it just reminds me of like, you know, the petals and then the center of the flower. So you could, you know, if you were using my collection, do a little bit of sunflower nail art. But I also think that I would keep the finish on this, even though obviously sunflowers aren't glittery. I just think that because sunflowers really, you know, they they shine in the sun, you know, the sun is really their big thing. They they twist towards the sun as, as it moves through the sky. Um, I just think that if they had something that really sparkled in the sunlight, you know, in the polish at least, I think it would kind of help drive that concept home. So I would keep this finish, even though sunflowers aren't glittery. Now up next, I picked Zoya's Marin. And this one I picked just to represent water <laughs> because that's, you know, I'm basic like that. But I just felt like, you know, you gotta water your plants. I need to water my plants. Um, and so I, I picked this one because I just felt like when I like picture that stereotypical kind of cartoon blue, this is what I'm thinking of in my mind's eye. So pick that. And then I have another Zoya here. This is Soko. I referenced this one in a video the other day. And when I pulled it out of my drawer, I was like, man, that is like the perfect poppy red. And then when I was putting together my, you know, my collection, I thought, well, maybe I should pull Soko because it's the perfect poppy red. And so that's what I did. And so this is just a, a really bam in your face red. And I feel like it goes really well with Marin. So there's another kind of like nail art opportunity right there for you. And you know, in my wonderful non-existent collection. And so I just felt like this really fit in with a lot of the other colors in that way. I think it also would go well with this green in like a Christmas way, but come on, man, it, it is August. We don't need to talk about that. Okay. I got two more. I have a softer kind of like orange color or well my concept is like a softer orange this one is a little bit mac and cheesy if you saw my orly um review you'll see that there and this one is called lion's ear it's from their most recent collection which was based off of plants so i think this is maybe a little bit of a a cheat but you know this one i feel like i think of like there's some flowers uh out on our front porch of our apartment that um they have this kind of orangey tone to them but maybe just a little bit more I guess you could say burnt like it's just a little bit darker in tone I don't know how to describe it maybe just adding like a drop of red to this would help to burn it up a little bit like um but yeah I would I would tone down the brightness on this keep the finish I think I would want it mostly creams with those I think I have what I guess it's half for me my like my theoretical collection it's like half fun finishes and then half creams which i think is a decent balance so yeah i would keep this as a cream change the tone just a little bit to be a little maybe more natural not so craft macaroni because <laughs> i don't know can you find a color like that in nature probably but maybe in the ocean or something but yeah so i would add that and then the other polish I chose, which is also kind of a cop out because it's also already based on plants, is Loki Lavender by Sinful Colors. Now, this one in the bottle, you can see a bit of a, a flash, like a shimmer shining through. I don't think that that necessarily translates onto the swatch too much. However, I would just remove it because it seems unnecessary. So I would want a cream that was more this color. And this is scented, so obviously I would take the scent out of it because none of the other ones would be scented. That's kind of a weird gimmick, I guess. Well, yeah, you can't, I think you're not supposed to sniff nail polish, to be honest with you. You can't really smell the, the lavender through the, the chemical scent, but once it dries down, then you can smell the lavender. This was really the only polish where I was kind of like, should I keep it in? Should I not? Because I was like, I want a lavender because... I think that lavender is like a beautiful flower, but I don't know. When you look at the whole swatch wheel, I just think it is the only one that 
isn't really in the same tonal family as the rest. And I, I guess I kind of did end up just making like a rainbow collection. That was not my intention. Uh, but it just seems a little bit out of place to me. Even though I like this, I like looking at this swatch wheel as a whole. I feel like it is a well-rounded in the colors. It's well-rounded in like the sense of like colors, but that is just because I basically made a rainbow collection with two browns. So I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below if this purple really fits in. I just don't think that changing the tone of the purple would be good because the darker you make it, the further you stray from the plant lavender, which you want, I want it to be the color of a lavender plant. So I don't know. I'm kind of hit or miss on this one, but the rest of them, I think that my concept building was pretty solid. But yeah, let me know down below if you guys have ever even like thought about something like this. What kind of collection would you make? You know, I feel like I have so many like half formed ideas, but they're all kind of based off of like TV shows and stuff like that. Like I would want to do some kind of kind of creepy dark X-Files one, probably a Star Trek one just because I like Star Trek. You know, it's just like it's all based off of shows I like basically. But yeah, let me know what your concept is or like what, what you would add or anything like that. I really love talking to you guys. You always have a lot of like fun things to say and different perspectives that I may not have considered. So let me know down in the comments what you guys thought and I will see you in the next one. Bye.